Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I've got a great personal finance video for you today. I'm going to use Microsoft Excel to explain the rule of 72. And I'm also going to use Microsoft Excel's NPER function to see is the rule of 72 even accurate. So let's get started. The rule of 72 says this. If you make a one-time investment, it doesn't matter whether it's $5, $50, $1,000, $20,000. If you know the interest rate you're getting, the annual return, when will that one-time investment double? The rule of 72 says if you're getting 8%, and let's say you put in $5,000 one time, 72 divided by 8 is 9. So in 9 years, your investment of $5,000 would be $10,000. At 12%, if you're getting 12%, the rule of 72, 72 divided by 12 is 6 in 6 years. So let's throw this into Excel and let's use Excel's NPER function, which will really determine the actual amount of years it takes. I'm going to take that and multiply it times 2. So 5,000 was in B1. There's my first formula. The interest rate, I'm going to keep at 8%. Here we go. Here is your NPER function. There's the definition right there. Constant uh, one-time payment for me. Constant interest rate for this example. There are five arguments for NPER. I'm going to use four of them. The interest rate is cell B3, comma, the payment. I'm not making periodic payments. So it's zero, comma. How much money did you invest? PV is present value, negative B1, that's my one-time investment, comma, what is that supposed to be worth? Well, it's doubling, which is cell B2. Remember the rule 72, 72 divided by 8 was 9, so I should get 8 point something, 8 point nine nine something or 9 point something, and I do. The rule of 72, I should obviously get 9, so that's going to be 72 divided by 8. But notice that's 8%. So there we go. I've got three formulas, cell B2. Cell B4 is a formula, but it's also the NPER function. And then I've got a formula in cell B5. So there you go. So, ver so by the way, the rule of 72 is extremely accurate at 8% interest. At 9% interest, it is extremely accurate. 72 divided by 9 is 8. Just a little, it's actually a little over 8. 12% still accurate. 26%. We're slowly getting a little off, and here's where I can tell you, once you get into really large percentages, but in real life, your investments don't earn usually over 26%. The rule of 72, if I take 72 divided by 72, that's going to be one year. Clearly, that's wrong because the only way to double your money in one year is if you're getting a 100% return. So that's proving where it gets off, but who's getting 72% on their return? So before I move on, the last thing, I've got a cool table. I'm going to show you where I plugged all this in in just one second, but I want to quickly just show you how you can test that 5,000 becomes 10,000 in approximately three years here. So here's our 5,000 bucks, by the way, real quick. Doesn't matter whether it's $1, $2, 100 or 200 Everything's working here. So year one, year two, year three equals the 5,000 times open parenth one plus whatever that interest rate is in cell B3. And you need to absolute reference that with the F4 function key. Here is the beauty of compound interest. After year one, the 5,000 is worth 6,300. Year two, I'm earning interest on interest, so now it's 7,938. And finally, in year three, there you go right there, 
If you say to me, Chris, I was expecting that to end up at 10,000. No, it was 2.999, so it wasn't exactly three, or it would have been exactly 10,000. So there you go. All right, last thing to tell you is I created a data table over here. I will share this with you. I've tested this multiple times. I put in the interest rate in column B, and I didn't put in every interest rate. As you can see, I start jumping around here. There's my 72. So 72 divided by 72 is one. So I put in the actual amount here. This is the NPER function running down here. I put in the, re the rule 72. I did the difference, but notice it's showing me as a decimal. And then also it's showing me decimals over here. So what I did is I ran a function to say this is 17 years, 0.673, look at cell C10. 12 months in a year, so that's 17 years and 8 months, that's what's showing right here in F10, and then I did the exact same thing over in cell G10. As you can see, if you invest money one time, the rule of 72 is extremely accurate until you start getting into really crazy percentages, because now you're 3 months off. But who's earning 72% on their money? If you are, please let me know what you're investing in. You could easily earn with an index fund. If you put your money in an index fund, you're easily in this range right here. Somewhere in there. Anyway, that's all I've got. Let me know if you like this video. Feel free to subscribe. If you have any comments about the rule 72, let me know. I will end up putting this information here, this entire Excel spreadsheet, including this rule of 72, to prove that it's accurate. Until you get into crazy percentage, I'll put that on a blog post later this evening. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate it.